Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out here. It is July 26th. We're at Lake Pleasant. It is hot. It's five o'clock in the morning. The sun hasn't even come up yet. It's 97 degrees. Gotta love it, but we're here to make a video. Um, I've said it before in some videos, a lot of people really struggle with Lake Pleasant and uh, it kind of sucks because it's a close lake. Everybody likes to go to the lakes that are close and this lake has really good fishing in the summertime. Unfortunately, we only got a couple hours here this morning before we got to get back in. But uh, we're going to do do one main thing. We're going to do drop shot versus free rig. I'm going to throw a free rig. I'm with my pops. He's going to throw a drop shot. We're going to see which one's working better and that kind of stuff. But uh, first off, I kind of want to show you one way right when you get on the water that's a good way to help you find out what depth the fish are in. So um, there's a thing called the thermocline, which is basically the point in the water that the fish want to be at that has the most oxygen everywhere they want to be and uh, it's really easy to tell that based off of where the shatter at so my graph keeps changing but I'm gonna kind of switch to show you my graph here you can see let me see if I can get close too close oh now we're too deep my graphs messing up so let's see if it'll go back to normal here so basically you have right here, this is the shad. And the shad are all packed right now. Let's see if it'll show it. You gotta love it when the graph gets all messed up. But the shad are basically from 25 to 35 foot of water. If I was in shallower water, there you go. You can kind of see now if it goes normal. My graph's all messed up right now. But 25 to about 40 foot of water is where those shad are at. So that'll kind of give you a good idea on the thermal climb right off the bat, just as you're idling out of the no wake zone to give you a good idea. Okay, shatter in that 25 to 40 foot of water. That's gonna be your thermal climb. And that's where the bass are gonna wanna be. That's where the, the water's the temperature they want, oxygen that they want. So right off the bat, just take a look at that. And it's a good way to kind of gauge what depth you need to be fishing in throughout the day. So stick with us. I'm gonna have a discount code to get 10% off Copper State Tackle and uh, Let's see which does better, free rig or drop shot. Follow along. Hey guys, before we get out here and start fishing, I'm gonna kind of show you how to rig up. I've had a lot of requests on, on how I rig these up. So we'll start off with the free rig. Same weight as a drop shot, but you can kind of see that eye is open. That way it can slide up and down the line. So put your line right through that eye and then your worm will slide or your weight will slide back and forth just like that. I use the owner offset worm hook uh one out there already got one out of the pack here so i tie the palomar super easy knot i'll do a video on that eventually here basically double it over put it through the eye the front of it tie an overhand knot with the loop put the hook through the loop that you have wet the knot always wet your knot so it doesn't cinch and, and weaken your line and cut that tag end off and then basically what you'll have is your hook and then that weight sits right at the front of that hook and then when you cast and it hits the water that weight will slide down up and down your line just like a texas rig but it slides a little bit more free and then you'll put your worm on there like normal so that's the free rig i'll show you the drop shot next all right guys next we have the drop shot this is the owner or sorry decoy big bite number two nose hook i don't have a package to show you but we'll put a little picture somewhere on the screen that way you can see what the package looks like and everything i use today worms hooks that kind of stuff will be the link will be in the description for copper state tackle all you got to do is just click the link it'll take you right there to everything that i'm using here the same thing palomar on this one double it over put it through the front tie that normal knot overhand through the loop always wet it now different with the drop shot is you never know which way that hook's gonna stand. See, kind of it stands down almost. Everybody kind of knows, some people don't though. Always, always, always take that eye or the, the tag end, put it right back through the front of the hook, right through the front eye, and then pull it through and then it'll pop. Now that hook will stand straight up and give you a little bit more action while you're working it. I like tungsten drop shot weights just helps you feel the bottom a little bit better. Um, I sell these tungsten drop shot weights, bullet weights, free rig weights, um, 
Tungsten's expensive. I don't like to throw it before because it was so expensive. I do sell it for a pretty good price, about right around half the price that you can normally buy it on the stores. So if you need tungsten, let me know. Send me a message uh, on Facebook, Instagram, um, at Shane Edgar. And then these weights are super easy. Just like most drop shot weights, they do have that little crimp in there. So you just put your line through it, pull it in, now you're all set up, ready to go. I normally run about a 12 to 18 inch leader on my drop shot. Then you'll have a little extra line there. Go ahead and just trim that right off. There you go, now you're set up for the drop shot. All you need to do is put the worm on, you're ready to go. So uh, let's go catch some fish. First one on the free rig. Feels like a good one. Not a bad one. Long and skinny. Choke the free rig. These owner worm hooks, they just hook them so good. They're just, this fish is just stuck good. But, pretty good one on the BFS rod. Gotta love it. bit of a mess there. First cast on this spot. Another nice pound and a half, pound and three quarter. belly on that thing. On the free rig, right in the roof of the mouth, right where you want it. It's been a kind of slow day. We're about finished up here. We got to go, but it's a nice two and a half pounder. The discount code you're going to use today is going to be PLEZ10. P-L-E-Z-10. One zero. That'll get you 10% off for the next week after I post this video. Hopefully get this video up in the next day or so um come out here guys it's it's fun it's a little slow right now we're kind of having some weird weather um it's been pretty breezy this morning which isn't normal for this time of year um it looks like clouds are building up north hopefully we get a monsoon that comes in it looks like it's it's trying so hopefully it'll come in we can get some rain tonight but uh yeah use that code plus 10 normal exclusions apply um shimano bloomis that kind of stuff I don't know all the details, but there is normal exclusions that apply. 10% off for the next week using code PLEZ10. Let's see if we can catch a couple more before we got to get out of here. Well, guys, we just finished up. I think we fished a little over two hours. We didn't have too much time this morning. Um, we caught three fish, missed a couple, had a few bites. Um, kind of a little bit slower fishing than I expected, but like I said a little bit before, that it got breezy. Kind of some weird, weird weather coming in. But uh, it's really hot this morning, really, really hot. It was 97 when we got to the lake, which is a little warmer than normal. But uh, 
I did want to say I am super, super, super picky about the shirts I wear. As I'm sure you can tell on the videos, I always wear the same, the same exact shirt. I have ten of them, and, and uh, that I like. Once I find something, I don't, I don't move around. But I got some of these, the Copper State Sun shirts. This one, I don't know the name of this one, but it's just a white one. A couple different styles look really cool. They're only 60 bucks. But my biggest problem that I didn't like about most sun shirts is the stinking hood blows off. If there's a little bit of a breeze, it just gets in there and blows your hood off and you're sitting there all day trying to put your hood on and everything. Not once did this hood blow off all day and it was pretty breezy. It was probably blowing 15, 15 to 18 um, throughout the morning. And even driving the boat, I left my hood up and driving you know 50 55 miles an hour my hood stayed on i have a windshield so it helps a little bit but the hood stays on and you can also it has the drawstrings that you can tie to keep it keep it tight so it really doesn't blow off but super comfortable it's soft that's the key anybody that knows me knows i'm really weird about my shirts so really comfortable shirts my dad was wearing one as well they're i mean awesome shirts they're only 60 bucks and uh check them out a couple cool styles if you like um we caught all three fish I caught today um, on the free rig, quarter ounce tungsten weight. Like I said, if you need those, hit me up. I've got those. Um, showed you the hook, how to tie them and all of that stuff. All the fish, like I showed um, earlier on the video about the thermal climb, they were all in that 25 to 30 foot range. The water's getting warm. They're moving down deep. So if you come out, make sure you're fishing in that 25 to 35 foot range. That seems to be where they're at same stuff rocks uh rock humps points that kind of stuff but uh if you guys go and want to buy some stuff from copper state like i said that code is plus 10 and get you a discount it's not just on what i use it's good for store-wide normal exclusions like i said before but uh i appreciate it guys and uh please like and subscribe leave a comment um i'm trying to do the stuff that you guys leave in the comments so if you want to see more stuff, leave a comment on what you want to see and I'll try to get to it. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good day.